I mean, ultimately, I mean, I think, I think there'll be, we'll, we'll be making tens of millions of robots a year type of thing. It's like serious volume. Maybe 100 million robots a year. It's wild. Yeah. When the richest man in the world like Elon Musk makes a huge bet on the humanoid robot Tesla Optimus, claiming that Tesla can produce millions of them per year and sell them for $20,000, it is obvious that profit is the first goal that Elon Musk is aiming for. Do you know how big the profit is? According to Elon Musk, it is enough to make Tesla a $25 trillion company. Optimus, I think, is, is a, a 25. Uh, literally $25 trillion market cap situation. So. To understand just how shocking that number is, all you need to know is that Apple's current market value is around $2.9 trillion. That means if Tesla bot actually hits a $25 trillion valuation, it would be worth more than eight times Apple. Okay, you might not like Elon Musk. You might think his claims are overhyped. But one thing you can't deny is that everything he bets on seems to succeed. Saying Elon Musk became the world's richest person just by luck, not business skill, would be ridiculous. And thinking he's throwing money at the Tesla bot just because he has cash to burn, that completely misses the point. Billionaires like him often have a vision that most of us can't quite grasp. Right now, Tesla is still seen as an EV automaker, but that definition won't hold for long. Tesla is turning into a tech company, and soon, a robotics company. Why? because Optimus might just be Tesla's most valuable product. Elon has even said it could be worth more than all of Tesla's other products combined. This is a super big deal. Like my, my prediction is that, on this front, is that Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. Long, I think long term, with Optimus and self-driving, uh, Tesla will probably be the most valuable company in the world. Of course, Tesla bot and even Elon Musk himself are really just holding the lock. It's the customers who hold the key. If Optimus isn't smart or capable enough to actually help people, then that $20,000 price tag is just for an expensive toy that can move around. No one's going to pay for that. But if the opposite happens, if Tesla bot truly has a groundbreaking brain, the kind Elon Musk confidently calls a real brain that outperforms anything else out there. Then the story completely changes. People will be lining up to get one once its usefulness starts translating into real dollars. Think about it this way. You drop $20,000 up front, but you never have to hire store staff, a tutor, or a housekeeper again. Suddenly Optimus isn't just a pricey toy, it's a money printing machine. And yeah, if you like making money, you've got to get an Optimus. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. And there's going to be some, maybe two. When talking about Optimus's brain, why does Elon Musk call it a real brain? And Tesla has some important missing ingredients that, that others don't have, which is our, our robot has a real brain. Um, you know, it's like Wizard of Oz. Don't get it twisted. It's not a biological brain like the one in our heads. When Elon Musk talks about the Tesla bot having a real brain, he's referring to an insanely sharp information processing system, one that could actually outperform humans in understanding and reacting to the world around it. Sounds crazy? Imagine this. You don't even have to speak a word. Just a gesture or facial expression is enough. Point to the floor, and it knows it needs to mop. Rub your stomach, and it brings you food. A guest shows up? It automatically gets drinks ready. That's what Musk means, a brain smart enough to read the situation, understand the environment, and act on it. It's not just automation, it's awareness. You can imagine like your own personal robot buddy uh, that is uh, a great friend, but also takes care of uh, your house, will we'll clean your house, will mow the lawn, uh, will walk the dog, uh, will teach your kids, uh, will we'll babysit. Um, and, and, and will also, also enable the production of goods and services. Um, so you could say, pick up a cup, pick up a shirt, fold the shirt. Uh, th these, these things will generalize, I think, quite quickly. 
In some ways, Optimus's brain works quite similarly to humans because Tesla engineers have explained that Optimus will also need to load data to become smarter. It will be like humans learning, going through a long period of time accumulating knowledge and experience to become smarter. Of course, Optimus will not spend decades going to school like humans. Our brains can forget quickly and need many times to store information. But with Optimus, it will store it right from the first time it receives that data. The easiest example is cooking. You will need to review the recipe, how to prepare a new dish, many times it has too many things to remember, and the sequence of steps. But Optimus has arranged and stored that data right from the first time it does it. When it repeats it the second time, it will not take time to remember. That's what makes the Tesla bot valuable, and Elon Musk is confident that it can perform new tasks just by watching a video. It can watch a video of something like a person and and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. This capability is built on Tesla's powerful AI technologies, like machine learning and deep learning, which allow the Tesla bot to automatically adjust and optimize its actions, similar to how humans do. Optimus's smart brain gives Tesla a huge advantage because users won't need to retrain the robot after buying it. A lot of people have said they wouldn't even consider buying Tesla Optimus if they had to teach it everything from scratch. It's just too time-consuming for most people to deal with a robot like that. It's fair to say that if a robot gets too smart, human jobs are more likely to be replaced. Like we've discussed in earlier episodes about both the potential and the risks of Optimus, we have to admit, yes, it will take jobs, but it'll also create jobs. That's just the reality we're heading into. But above all, what really matters is that Elon Musk has made it clear. Optimus won't be anything like the rebellious robots from iRobot or Terminator. Instead, it's being built as a friendly, helpful assistant for everyday tasks around the home. Sure, you might have seen Optimus walking a little wobbly and thought it looked clumsy, but as we've explained in previous episodes, that's not actually a weakness. Thanks to its low center of gravity and advanced sensor system, Optimus is designed to stay balanced on uneven terrain and in tight spaces. And earlier this month, Elon Musk rolled out an upgrade that seriously improved Optimus's walking posture. Yeah. It's now walking with straighter legs than it did late last year. We can see no more still walks like Biden or drunk guy wobble that the netizens love to joke about. Here's the wild part. When Optimus walks better, it actually means it's gotten smarter. Sounds weird, right? Like, what does walking better have to do with intelligence? Well, here's the deal. Every step Optimus takes is controlled by a neural network, an AI brain that makes real-time decisions on how it should move based on its surroundings. On a flat surface, it might walk smoothly and upright, but if it's navigating a slope or uneven ground, it instinctively bends its legs more, just like a human would, to stay balanced. That kind of adaptive movement shows off the power of Tesla's AI. Optimus isn't stuck using the same walk everywhere. It adjusts its entire gait depending on the terrain. That's a huge leap beyond traditional automation systems, and it's one of the reasons people are starting to take this robot seriously. Yeah. The hand might be, it might be close to half of all the engineering in, the, in, in Optimus. From an electromechanical standpoint, the hand is probably r roughly half of the engineering. But so much of the intelligence, so much of the intelligence of humans goes into what we do with our hands. Yeah. If Optimus really ends up costing $20,000, we're guessing its hands alone are worth around $9,000. So if you buy an Optimus in the future, take good care of hands, because you might wince when you have to bring it in for repairs. It's no surprise Elon Musk admitted that Optimus's hands took up nearly half of the engineering team's effort, recreating the complexity of a human hand with tendons, joints, nerves, and fine control is a big challenge. But what's incredible is that Tesla actually pulled it off. They stunned the entire robotics industry by developing a robotic hand with 22 degrees of freedom, something no other company in the world has managed to achieve. If that sounds too technical, just know this. The human hand has 27 degrees of freedom. That's what lets us grip, twist, move each finger independently, and perform everything from tying shoelaces to building skyscrapers. Our hands literally shaped the world we live in. Understanding that, the Tesla team went all in to make Optimus's hands as close to human hands as possible. If you want to have a humanoid robot that can... Um do things that a human can do, it's actually, it's a, it's a very high bar. So our, our new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11. 
um, we, we tried putting the actuators in the hat itself, <laughs> but then you, you, you sort of end, end up having these like- Giant hands? Yeah, giant hands that look weird. Yeah. To make the hand move and operate yeah. naturally, it needs a lot of actuators built in, but that comes with a challenge. How do you manage all that complexity without making the hand too big and clunky? Cramming in too many actuators would make it bulky and reduce both its flexibility and strength. So, Tesla's engineers came up with a smart solution. They moved some of the actuators down into the forearm to keep the hand slim and functional. And here's something fascinating. Our fingers being different lengths isn't just a coincidence. If all your fingers were the same length, you'd lose a lot of dexterity. That variation in length actually gives you better control and an edge when it comes to precise tasks. Take the pinky, for instance. It may be the smallest finger, but it plays a critical role in grip and fine motor skills. Lose it, and your ability to handle delicate objects drops significantly. Tesla clearly understood that, and it shows in how carefully they designed Optimus's hand to mimic the precision and functionality of a real human hand. And your, your dexterity is actually better if your fingers are of different, different length. Like there's a reason we've got a little finger. Like why not have a little finger that's bigger? Yeah. Because it allows you to do fine. So Optimus's hand is one of the rare robotic hands that has five fingers of different lengths, just like a human hand. This special design allows it to perform many tasks that require high precision, such as holding eggs, serving drinks, and many more tasks that require more sophisticated manipulation in the future. It is interesting that Tesla always goes against the majority, while their competitors focus on making robots smarter, faster, running, jumping, or doing somersaults and doing complicated movements that look quite silly. Tesla focuses on Optimus's hands. Studies show that the ability to grasp, manipulate objects, and perform sophisticated manipulations are all related to the coordination between the brain and the hands. For example, when a person plays the piano, the brain has to control each finger to match the rhythm and keys, which requires a very high level of information processing ability. Our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. Um, it will be able to play the piano. So it's, it's really like, wow. The hand is not only the part that performs the action, but also helps us respond to the environment, learn and improve skills through each action. Tesla Bot will start mass production this year with the production line at the Fremont factory. It can take Tesla nearly one hour and 45 minutes to produce an Optimus, according to the quantity that Elon Musk revealed. So this year we, we hopefully will be able to make about um, 5,000 Optimus robots. Uh, we're technically uh, we're aiming for enough parts to make 10,000, maybe 12,000. Um, but since it's a totally new product with totally new, you know, like everything is totally new, um, I'll, I'll say like we're succeeding if we get to half of the 10th. Elon Musk has set an incredibly ambitious target for Tesla bot production. As he's mentioned, Tesla technically has enough components to build around 12,000 Optimus robots this year. But even he admits that's a pretty optimistic number. If Tesla actually pulls it off, they'd need to build one Optimus every 44 minutes. That's a crazy pace, especially compared to any current humanoid robot production line. We're not sure if the 145% tariff Trump slapped on Chinese goods will slow things down. But hopefully Tesla can lean on its U.S.-based resources to keep the momentum going. While Musk has often hyped up EV production, he's noticeably more cautious when it comes to Optimus. He said that producing 5,000 units is a more realistic goal for now. That might sound like a small number for a company like Tesla, which is known for mass production. But honestly, we think it makes total sense. Mass producing something completely new is never easy, especially when Tesla is still primarily an EV automaker. There are huge challenges. Setting up a proper assembly line, hand assembling most of the robot instead of automating it, and hiring experienced workers. That's why Tesla is still actively recruiting for roles related to Optimus. On top of that, there are supply chain hurdles, assembly complications, testing, and fine-tuning the tech. Way more challenges than most people realize. Sure, Tesla's nailed large-scale EV production, but building a humanoid robot is a whole different ballgame. It requires insane precision, constant trial and error, and a lot of patience. It's got the, it's got the real-world AI. So Tesla's the leader in real-world AI. Um, what we learned in the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. And then another 
major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. Tesla has truly upgraded Optimus at an astonishing pace, three generations of the robot in just over two years. Optimus Gen 3 is expected to launch next year, once the current version's production line is stable. This will be the most advanced version available for purchase, and its price may be significantly higher than previous models. If the price reaches $60,000 but it can handle every task you assign, would you still pay for it with no hesitation? We think it would be fascinating even just to interact with the Tesla bot on a daily basis. We mean you wouldn't need to be cautious or overly polite with it. You could simply tell it a story and see how it reacts. And it doesn't stop there. What if this robot could remind you to take your medicine on time or report upcoming appointments that we often forget? It could also help the elderly become familiar with technology by providing simple and easy to understand guidance on using smart devices like phones and tablets. For children, Optimus could become an engaging learning tool, teaching basic skills through games and puzzles, helping them learn in a natural and interactive way. Thanks to its ability to communicate naturally, the Tesla bot doesn't just support the elderly and children with using technology. It can also enhance their communication and learning skills. Yeah, there's so much untapped potential in Optimus that we've yet to discover. What do you think about the value of Tesla bot? If it is useful, are you willing to pay? Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla bot or Tesla EVs, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.